Hey now, what's going on YouTube? BD Kane 721. Happy Friday morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Looking forward to the weekend. Uh, I've got a really busy day today, so I'm not really sure when I'm going to post this video, but I'm going to try to squeeze it in here this morning. I just have a few cards to show uh, for mail pickups, and then I want to talk a little bit about 2023 Tops Chrome, which, hey, comes out at the end of this month at the National, which I think is fantastic. What a great way to celebrate that release would be at the National. Too bad I'm not going to be there, but I will be watching. So any of you guys that are going, take some videos, take some pictures. Uh, I definitely want to see them. In the mail today, or not in the mail today, but in the mail in the last week or so, I've gotten a few cards. One is this uh, 1969 Topps Rookie Stars card of the three different of three different. San Diego Padres. This will be going into my San Diego Padres binder. Uh, I think this completes my team set. I'm going to look back and confirm that. I should have done that before I uh, shot this video, but I'm going to make sure. I think that might be the last card because there are players that were drafted by the Padres in 1968 that did not make it into the team set for 1969. Um, but I will confirm and let you guys know. One Additional card for the small uh, trout PC that I have. That's this 2023 Green Bowman paper, number to one. I'm uh, sorry, 399. The seller found it necessary to send it to me in a mag. Not sure why they did that, but very appreciative of that. Um, I think the mag probably cost more than the shipping on it, so it's nice of them to do that. And then I picked up uh, a couple of cards for the Machado. Rainbow of 2023 Top Series 2. I've got the red version here, red foil, uh, numbered to 199. I don't know about you guys, but it's, it seems really hard this year to see the numbering. You can kind of see it there. Hopefully that's not the case for Topps Chrome. I was able to get that. And then the really cool black version, number to 72. 72? Yeah, 72. So I really like that. And I brought in the rest of the cards that I have in the rainbow. Um, so you can see the rainbow is building. Got, I've added the red now and uh, the really nice black. So that rainbow is really getting out there. And looking forward to continuing that through the year. Uh, I'll just put this card up too because I like it a lot. That black card is really sharp little off center but not really that bad okay last thing for today's video is just talking about the upcoming 2023 tops chrome release there's a lot going on with it i'm not going to get too detailed into all the different issues that tops is having uh, with it you guys can search youtube and other sources for that i'm just going to talk about the thing that really affects me in my collection uh, last year tops Chrome included 26 different parallels for their base cards. Uh, and that's a lot. I mean, when I look back at years past, like 10 years ago, there was maybe 17 or 18, and now they're up to 26 in 2022. Uh, this year, though, they're not going to be including two of them, Black and White Diamond, which came in those Hobby Light Packs, or light boxes, and then the Aqua Mini Diamond, which was numbered at a 199. Those are not included in 2023, but they did include four additional uh, parallels, which nets an additional two more parallels for the base card. So now we're up to 28 parallels for each base card, which is absolutely crazy. It goes from the refractor all the way up to the printing plates. So if you're looking to Get a nice big rainbow for any player out there. You've got a lot of cards to hunt down. And I don't know if it's a good thing that it's this high. It's obviously a lot of fun to try to hunt down all these different variations of your favorite players. But it's it's a lot. It's a lot. And I, I'm starting to believe, even though I wasn't believing for a while that it, it was a lot. But I'm starting to believe that it definitely is a lot. So they've added four different 
cards this year, purple sonar, blue sonar, green sonar, and then this really interesting Sub-Zero Frozen Fractor, which is supposedly numbered out of five, and you only get those in the jumbo box. So looking forward to seeing what that's all about. I know the sonar cards because I think they were the they were inserts in last year's Sonic release. I never bought any of that, so I don't really know if that's true or not, but I think that's where those came out of. So now they're putting them in the main set. This year, I was contemplating doing the Aqua Refractor set, but they're numbered out of 199. I'm a little, little nervous about going that low in serial numbering for the cost perspective. So I think I'm gonna go back and do the Purple Speckle set. I've yet to do a purple speckle. I've done a bunch of purple sets, but not the purple speckle. So I think I'll be doing that. Unless that purple sonar looks really nice, I might I might choose to do that. So that's going to be the endeavor this year, and I'm really looking forward to it. So that's about it I, I have for today. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have too many more videos until that release. I do have a couple things in the works for later this month that are a little different than what I normally do. So a couple of surprises for all of you guys out there that watch my videos. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. See ya.